So after the Maharashtra government was dislodged, now is it the turn of the MPs? Is there a rebellion as far as the Shiv Sena MPs are concerned? Joining us right now is uh, Sena MP, Mr. Arvind Sawant. Thank you very much, Mr. Sawant. Uh, can I ask you what really, according to you, is the situation right now as far as MPs are concerned? <coughs> the issue is that the, uh, today afternoon I have come to know that around uh, two-thirds of the members of our parliament have approached the Honorable Speaker of the House and requested him to uh, appoint a leader from the, whatever leader they wanted to choose should be given a permission or granted uh, the approval by the Honorable Speaker. In fact, you are well aware that right now the situation is that the tomorrow there is a hearing uh, in the Honorable Supreme Court and uh, the issue is the identical to that of a Maharashtra Assembly. Uh, of late, you know, in the last week, the Honorable Supreme Court has directed Maharashtra government and the particularly the Speaker of the Maharashtra Assembly not to indulge in any decisions or any action against any or any of the MLAs. Similarly, it it, it is it remains applicable for the for the uh, this also. It will remain applicable for this also. Now the issue is that the, what the Constitution says. I am really worried about not only the issue of Maharashtra's assembly or a part, Shiv Sena party. What the constitution say, we are acting in a way which are unconstitutional, unethical. Right from the formation of the government, the honorable governor of Maharashtra has violated all norms. A single largest party should have been invited whether the single largest party was invited, whether the single pa largest party has conducted a meeting, whether the single largest party has elected their leader of the house and it is that the leader of the house be belongs to the uh, some other group which has been elected by the single largest party. Is it so? Let us let the co people come to know what exactly has happened and how come you invited a person who has uh, defected a party who is maybe two-third but how you invite him directly to take a vote of chief minister under which provisions of the constitution? Mm -hmm. That is what a serious business. And it is identical to that case of Arunachal Pradesh. What has happened in other uh, now? Now the, today the member of parliament have approached him. What is that? And everyone knows out of what issues the mem people are living. There is a threat of ED. There is, there is a lucrative offers. So both the things can. They are doing both the things. And uh, no, but then, Mr. Savant, you see the rule, Mr. Savant, since you quoted rules, uh, the way we understand, and you are a parliamentarian, you can perhaps uh, enlighten us also. The formation that has two thirds of the legislature uh, legislators becomes the legislature party, which means the Shiv Sena in the Vidhan Sabha is the Shinde no, faction. No, no, no. They have more than... I, I stop it. Similarly, now, I, I, as far as MPs are concerned, I, do you see yourself I, I, in a minority right now? 12 of the 19 MPs are with uh, Mr. Shinde. No, Shindu. no, no, no. You, you are... Narratives are absolutely... Uh, I can... What should I use the word? Incorrect. I, not wrong. Incorrect. Mm -hmm. See, it's not the party, sir. Once you... You, you are at liberty to uh, leave the party willfully. And if the members are two-thirds, in that case, they will not be disqualified, provided they merge in some part party. This is this is the provision in the constitution. They will not get an identity as a party. Sir, never ever, you kindly go through that classes, clauses of this constitution. Not, no, but not, Mr. Savant, you look at the example after example. Ever, example. They'll get recognition. Look as at a, the example of the Lok Jan Shakti party. Look at other examples also. Not, not you know, it, it's not no, the case no, no. in all cases where again, parties again, again, merge into I, someone else. No, then, then that, that's what I'm saying. You are comparing with such a thing which is not compared to what is happening in Maharashtra. The most comparable incidence is what is that of Arunachal Pradesh. Hmm. Now, what has happened in Arunachal Pradesh? Do you, are you aware of the Arunachal Pradesh case? Mm -hmm. Are you aware, sir? So, should I quote it? Please do. Are you aware of it or not? Probably. Then, in that case, what is Arunachal Pradesh, which is having an assembly of 60 members? The election results were declared, Congress got 42, BJP got 11, 5 People's Party, 2 Independent. Now the 5 People's Party also supported the uh, Congress Party. 
forget about that for a moment the 42 people were there then bjp again with their regular tactics the i mean whatever the practice they use to uh, destabilize the working government which is a majority government they uh, i mean around 22 members from the assembly I mean, congress group they carved out of it in a way which way you know it better than mm. others so 22 people came out to the congress party they joined bjp it has become 22 plus 11 33 so in 60, 33 are majority and they wanted to form the government. The present, the government, the ordinary governor who was there was reluctant to do it. So they, what they did, they brought another governor, Rajkova, whose name is Rajkova, who came over there. And Rajkova, as what Koshari has done, honorable governor of Maharashtra, same way he did it. He allowed him to take a vote, appointed a chief minister, floor point, everything he has done. And the, 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 the chief minister of the majority party of the uh, defected party congress went to the supreme court and supreme court honorable supreme court scratched all the decisions of the governor, govern, governor and again reformed the congress uh, brought congress party again on the ruling and then the uh, these defected people went back and the leading the person who was leading that defecting party you know it what is from, from what you are saying mr savant yes, am i to assume that you are preparing yourself for a long legal battle that this matter is also going to be in the courts where uh, we are already prepared for that hmm. right now what we feel is that whatever is being done by the uh, defected group is totally invites disqualification nothing else than the provisions of the constitution of india nothing else or else they have to merge somewhere now you just watch it that I, after 10, 15, or 10 days have passed, I think, two weeks have passed, they have not merged it till. Hmm. How can you recognize a group? Constitution doesn't allow you to recognize a group. Hmm. You cannot recognize them as a party. Which is that party? What is the constitution? Who has elected you? Whether election, that is the part of election commission. Who are you? You can say, I am a party. Tomorrow, if suppose two, people, two persons are representing of a party, which is there are in Maharashtra. So though all the two people left the party and no, they go right. to some a, other as party. As far as being identified as what you say now. In the, in the one, one minute, one minute, one yeah. minute, one minute, let me complete, let hmm. me complete. Hmm. In that case, are you going to say the party is, uh, party is vanished? But just because two MLA, there are two different identities. Please try to understand it. Hmm. The legislative party has a different identity and the political party, which is on the outside, the, on the field, is a different one. They have the cadre in the party, right from Shiv Saini to the leader of the house, leader of the party. The cadres are there. So many things are there. MLAs are there. MPs are there. They are there. It doesn't hundred percent MPs have not gone. Had it been so, then you were right. Then you were right that the hundred percent people have gone, and therefore the party will existence will remain. Mm. It is not so in the case of Maharashtra, either in assembly or in member of parliament. No, uh, I think one thing Look, is very clear by way of this conversation that you are preparing yourself for a long legal battle. But Mr. Savant, as of this moment, <laughs> with 12 MPs out of 19, with 12 MPs out of 19 uh, very clearly aligned to Mr. Shinde, with Mr. Shinde's faction in government, him as the chief minister, uh, what does this mean for Uddhav Thakre and his leadership? See, Uddhav Thakre is a most honorable leader most respected labor leader, most lenient and inclusive leader. Just don't forget, you are the people only. The private survey was con con conducted during his tenure. And all the five times, the nation's five top chief ministers, Uddhav Thakre's name was always there. The way he has worked in Corona has been appreciated by New York Times. It was appreciated by World Health Organization. It was appreciated by even the honorable Supreme Court of the country. What more you need? Such a wonderful, great leader, just for the sake of an ambitious of a person to become the chief minister. All these other things are, are being just, I mean, it is a, they are just projecting the wrong thing. It's not the truth. The truth must prevail. Truth is that they have been threatened by ED. Many of them have been threatened by ED. Many of them in lured. Can you imagine a party's people living in Surat? were ruled by BJP, living in Goa, ruled by BJP, living in Goa, ruled by BJP. Is it a constitutional, a democratic function? 
Do you mean to say these are all democratic function? Sure. It is total violation. You know, they are violation of the constitution of India. They are hurting the constitution given by the late great Bharat Ratna Parampuja Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar. It's an assault, assault on it. The okay. long battle or battle, that's a different part of it. The present situation is that it is unconstitutional, unethical. Please All try right. to understand that. All that's right, Mr. Arvind thing. Sawan, many thanks for joining us on this broadcast. Thank you so much. Thank my pleasure, sir. Okay.